All right, I'm going to start this video with a little electronics lecture. So let's imagine you've got a mysterious circuit that's got two wires coming out and you want to measure the voltage between these two wires. What you'll get is something. You'll get this oscillating frequency or whatever. And let's say you want to connect that circuit to another mysterious circuit. If you measure the voltage again at the same place, you'll end up with a completely different voltage because that's just what happens. The circuit doesn't know what the input and what the output is. It changes depending on what's connected here. If I were to connect this with just a wire like this, then the voltage would be zero because there's no voltage drop inside a wire. So all of that's basically been messing with me for the past couple of weeks or so. So it's been two weeks since the previous episode and I've made basically zero progress. I've redesigned basically everything, I've made the second oscillator, and it's still not working right. This is because each section works to sabotage the signal generated by each other section. At this point, it's difficult to display my progress since it's really just an issue of bug fixing and trying to get it to work by sheer force of will. And when I say bug fixing, I really mean violently swinging a fly swatter throughout a room filled with priceless porcelain artifacts effects while blindfolded. Yet despite everything, I think I might have actually just gone and done it. This is perhaps the messiest graph I've ever seen, but if you look around the top, you'll see a low frequency, slightly jagged wavy shape, which is what I've been trying to achieve since day dot. Here are some more waves. It actually took several hours to get the second graph because I had to change a bunch of stuff to get the different frequencies to work properly. I didn't write an outro, so uh, I'm just speaking off the cuff right now. There isn't much more to report. This episode took ages to actually figure out. 